Hello, I'm Emily from the Golden Triangle Library, and today we're going to talk with Kenny Kyle. He is a comic book artist. Let's get started. Hey, what's up, Fort Worth Public Library? It's great to be here with you today in this virtual space. Um, my name is Kenny Kyle, and I am a writer and artist, and I make comic books. Uh, I make comic books for magazines, I've written and drawn graphic novels, and today I'm here to tell you a little bit about what I do and how I do it. So let's go. When did you get interested in comics? So when I was like four or five years old, my life pretty much revolved around cartoons. I was obsessed with Scooby-Doo, G.I. Joe, He-Man, all that stuff. Um, but that was kind of it for the cartoons. They, they didn't play on TV all day, so it was really exciting when you saw one. Um, and one place where I would see them just about every week would be at the grocery store. There would be a comic book rack next to the magazines right when you walked in. And I loved going up to that rack and just looking at it, just looking at all the different colors and the different art styles. You know, I couldn't even read yet, but I could follow the context of the pictures and I could get a basic idea of what was going on. And, uh, you know, my mom would not buy me candy, but sometimes she would buy me comics because uh, she knew that that was a way that I could learn how to read. From there, it didn't take long. I was making my own comics because they were just too cool to read and put away. Uh, I wanted to get in on the fun. Uh, so I would just take a notebook or whatever scrap paper I had. I'd grab my crayons, pencil, ballpoint pen, whatever was in reach. And I would just start making my own comics right there. I would uh, just kind of make up the story as I went along. Uh, a lot of my ideas were basically copies of the comics that I was reading, right? It's actually perfectly cool and normal when you're starting out to look at the stuff you love and... Uh, Copy it. Copy the masters. Uh, it's a great way to figure out what they're doing that works so well. It's a great way to figure out what you love about those comics. And it's going to help you figure out how to make your own comics later on. Of course, these days, I try to make my comics as unique as possible because ultimately, unique comics are the best kind of comics. What is your process for creating comics? When I make comics, it is a process. There are several steps. Um, the first part of the process is actually the same one I've been using since I was five years old. I just get a, a pen and a notebook and, and I start drawing out my ideas. Um, and ultimately, that's really all you need to make comics. If, if you have something to draw on and something to draw with, boom. You're, you're in, you're making comics. Uh, if, if you wanna push it a little further, um, depending on what tools you have or what you're interested in, uh, I'll, I'll go a little deeper into my process. Step one, thumbnails. For the first stage, I'm just trying to figure out how everything is gonna fit on the page. I wanna figure out how everything is gonna fit in the panels on the page. And the best way to do that is in the process called thumbnails. Um, when you're doing thumbnails, it's not even about detail or anatomy or, or drawing anything that clean or detailed. It could be stick figures, really. You're just trying to figure out what the visual storytelling is going to look like. Uh, as long as you know what it is, then you're good to go. Step two, pencils. Once my thumbnails are done and I have a little roadmap to how I'm going to get this page finished, um, I'm going to start doing the pencils. Uh, this part's really fun because this is where you really see your, your characters and your settings start to really come to life. Uh, you know, all the little details of your design. This is when you're going to start filling those in. Step three, inks. The next step is called inking. And it's sort of like what you just did in pencil. Um, if you're working on paper, you're going to be using um, a more permanent pen, uh, maybe a, a brush or a micron or a marker. Um, if you're working digitally, then it's really not that different at all, but you might be using a darker color and you might want to add more details, 
Maybe you want to indicate some shadows, maybe some depth. But this is sort of like the finishing part of the drawing. Step four, colors. I love to color. Uh, I think it's one of my favorite parts of the process. You don't have to, but if you're gonna do it, this is usually the part of the process where you add your colors. Step six, lettering. And with all those stages complete, you got yourself a finished page. Uh, now I just have to do this 150 more times and I will have a graphic novel. Um, I only bring that up because I think you should choose your process carefully. Use what works for you because comics are a process and they are a lot of hard work, but if you do it right, it's also a lot of fun. Who are your favorite comic book artists? Oh man, I could be here all day telling you about my favorite comic artists. I will just give you a few random picks. Jack Kirby! Darwin Cook! Olivia James! What are your favorite tools to use when you're creating comics? My favorite all-time tools are, I'm gonna say it again, the notebook and pen. You, you can take them anywhere. They're cheap, uh, and they're just a super fun and convenient way to draw. Um, but I would say in the past few years, one of my favorite tools has been my iPad that I used to draw my most recent graphic novel, Smooth City. Um, pretty much everything I'm doing right now, I'm doing on a $10 drawing app called Procreate. It's got all kinds of brushes. It's got all kinds of effects and um, you, you, you draw with the digital pencil um, right there on the screen and it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. It allows me to do all those stages that I was talking about earlier. I can do them all in one place with one tool uh, and, and that's pretty convenient. Do you prefer working on comic books alone or working with a team? That one depends on my mood. One of the cool things about comics is that you can do it solo. You can write, draw, and letter your own comic all by yourself, and you'll have complete, total creative freedom, creative control to just put all your imagination on paper. That's a great feeling. But there is something very magical about collaboration. I have so much fun when I collaborate because your collaborators are your friends and you're trying to make your friends laugh. So you're coming up with jokes. You're trying to surprise your friends with a, with a wild plot twist. So you sort of just keep trying to outdo each other and you end up coming up with an idea that you maybe never would have come up with on your own. And that's a lot of fun because then it becomes unpredictable and you wind up surprising yourself. What tips would you give an aspiring comic book artist? The tip that I would give to an aspiring comic artist would be that if you make comics in any form, uh, you are not an aspiring comic artist at all. You are a comic artist. Um, it, it's th that's the only requirement is that you make comics. It doesn't really need a paycheck. It doesn't need a publishing credit. If you're making comics, you're in. You're a comic artist. Um, and I think it's important as you as you progress to to have that attitude and that confidence and be like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm a comic book artist um, because that's going to keep it fun for you. Uh, and if you're having fun, that means you're going to keep doing it. And if you keep doing it, you'll figure out the rest of the stuff as you go. So yeah, that's my interview. Thank you so much for having me. I hope I wasn't too boring. Uh, I hope you had fun and learned something. Uh, yeah, uh, keep reading and drawing comics. Peace. 
Thank you so much to Kenny Kyle for all that awesome information. If you would like to make comics, you can go by any Fort Worth Library location and pick up a comic strip panel and practice creating comics.